Hello and welcome. What's up, guys? My name is Ahmad Khan. I am cyber security researcher. Hope everyone doing well. And today's lecture, we are going to talk about cell phone tracking. Uh, before diving into this lecture, I'm going to warn you: this lecture is totally for educational purpose. I'm just here to educate you into a value about cyber security and cyber attacks. Uh, the purpose of this lecture is not just to spread cyber crime or something illegal. Um, so today we will talk about CPT cell phone triangulation. Uh, this is my website Cyber Sec Revolution. You can visit Cyber Sec Revolution if you are interested in any course or any product. You can click on shop and you can shop your desired product like tool, crap to steer, something like this so let me talk about what is cpt cell phone tra uh, triangulation cell phone triangulation is a method used by msp msp means mobile service provided to locate a mobile phone within their network i mean within their range cpt relies on the signal exchange between the phone and nearby base stations you know uh, i don't know uh, you have knowledge about this or not but let me tell you mobile phone always try to connect with the nearest base station so our mobile phone is constantly in communication with the nearest cell tower this communication involves sending signal back and forth which helps the network to keep track of our phone location whenever we make a call or use data or cell phone may connect to more than one cell tower this happened because the near because the network optimizes signal strength and quality by switching between nearby cell tower and this is known as cellular handover or we can say handoff and mobile telecommunication uh, basically handover is a process where a mobile device switch from one cell phone from one cell which represent the coverage area of a particular antenna or cell tower to another as it moves uh, this hand over occur to maintain a seamless connection and optimize signal strength and quality as the device move through different coverage area provided by a various nearby networks are cells as i said before so uh, in simple word triangulation involve using signals from multiple cell to determine the location of our phone by knowing by knowing the speed of signal transmission it can calculate the distance between our phone in each tower so let me just give you a basic diagram idea what i said and as you can see here let's say this is us this is our mobile phone and we have four cell towers first second third fourth and right now you may raise a question this phone will connect to which cell tower of course as i said before and as i talked before our mobile phone always try tries to connect to the nearest cell tower so of course this is the nearest cell tower it will try to connect with this as i said before our mobile phone is constantly uh, in communication with the nearest cell tower this communication involves sending signal back and forth so this is what what is mean by hand of our hand over uh, so i think it's enough to talk uh, to perform triangulation attack in our in order to track someone location we must have the idea of mnc mcc lac cid um, these are the arsenal required to perform triangulation so what is mean by mnc let me talk a little bit about mnc mobile country code mobile country code is a unique code assigned to a country every country has its own mnc for example the united states has mnc 310 like India has MNC404. This code helps identify the country in which a mobile phone network is operating. Okay. 
So what does it mean to see mobile network code? Mobile network code identifies a specific mobile network operator within a country. Multiple mobile network operators can exist, of course, like in United States, there is Verizon, there is T-Mobile, there is AT&T. So multiple mobile network operator exist within a single country and each has its own MNC mobile network code. For instance, AT&T like might have a different MNC than Verizon in the United States. So what does it mean by LSC, local area network? Local area network could represent a geographical area within a mobile network. It is used to identify a location area where a mobile phone is currently present. Several cell towers can belong to the same area network. Basically, LAC, LAC is a private, so you can only get it by using a man in the middle attack on any particular cell tower. And you cannot get it easily on the internet, is it private? Uh, basically, for security purpose, operator keep it private. So, the only way to get it to use hacked databases are to perform man in the middle attack on cell tower which involves uh, which involves uh, radio uh, sorry software defined radio devices such as rtl sdr hacker f1 blade array lime sdr etc etc so what is cid cid means caller id or cell id you can say it um, cid is a unique identifier for a specific cell or tower within the mobile network coverage area it still has its own cid allowing for the identification or into of individual cell with a allocation area so i think it's enough uh, now let's try to i hope you got the concept of mnc mcc lec cid so now let's try to perform uh triangulation attack in order to track someone location so i will use a python uh, programming as a programming language in order to do this uh, before uh, diving into the practical demonstration uh, you can see here we will use this website we will take the advantage of this website opencellid.org uh, if we will get mcc mnc lc cell id we can easily track someone location i mean we can track uh, cell phones but how we can get it like how we can get mcc mnc you can get mcc mnc easily but cell id and l uh, and lsc is a little bit um, technical it's complex as i said before you have to perform men in the middle attack on cell tower if you are always if you are already with my channel with my own channel i mean blackhead expert you may know how we can get it as i taught you practical since three to four four years ago i think so um, i have created videos on performing men in the middle attack on cell tower in which we got lsc mnc mcc and cell id so we will use the api of this website you can just sign up i got already vpi api sorry not vpi i'm so sorry so let's get uh, try to code something in python uh, we will use um, visual studio as an id so i have a python script first of all i will import request library as i am using uh, as i will request to the website so after this uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to get an api from the site and i got it so i will simply just copy the api and then I will store it in a, VP, uh, uh, in a variable. So I will create a variable and then I will paste the API. So now it's fine. Um, now we need MNC and MCC. Uh, and then we need LAC and then we need CID. As I said before, you have to get it. Uh, uh, you can get this from pub, uh, you can get this publicly. I mean from internet easily but lec and cid is not public so you have to perform men in the middle that take on cell towers or you can use uh hack databases to do it so mcc in my case it will be 410 as i am from totally a different country um, and then since in python it's not allowed to do like this so i have to use string to store it and then 
LEC of course I have to mention something like of course it's uh, wrong and CID I can use like uh, 307 it's totally fake as I said before you have to you cannot get it publicly you have to perform man in the middle attack on cell tower maybe I can store it in a string it will be fine um, so let's say we have these details so now what we have to do we have to request uh, we have to send a post request uh, to this particular API um, by using the URL of open cell id dot org. So I have to store it in a where um, in a URL variable. So what I have to do, I have to copy this URL. Uh, sorry, this one. Uh, then what I have to do, I have to paste here. And I have to use f string formatting. Okay, so then what I have to do, I have to specify my target API. So I'm going to send get and then question mark and then key. Of course, I have to specify the key is my API underscore key. Okay, uh, then what I have to do, I have to specify MCC mcc will be uh, of course mcc as i have stored uh, mcc in a variable and then what i have to do i have to specify mnc mnc of course will be mnc and the last thing which we have is the lsc is lsc okay and then we have uh, l uh, cid as well so i have to specify the cid for cid uh, it will be like cell id okay so i have to specify cell id so now it's ready and then what i have to do i have to get response from this request so i will uh, initialize another variable res and then i'm interesting to store request start get uh, we have to send get request i'm so sorry it's not post request it's get request i'm so sorry so we have to send get request to this particular api so then what we are going to do we are storing uh, the response in a res variable and then what i am what i'm going to do i'm going to decode this particular response so of course i will get this response in json file so I will store it in data variable res.json so i can print the json data as well so if we will do it of course um, in my country this website is not accessible oh sorry oops all right quote what's happening by country decode.py Of course, it will give me an error timeout here because this website is not accessible in my country at Spain. So, but I'm telling you the code. Uh, this JSON will contain uh, data dictionary. Okay, it will contain data dictionary. From data dictionary, we have to assess some keys. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to check if uh, data and we have to assess status value uh, sorry status key so if status equal equal okay then what we have to do if status is okay we have to retrieve something we have to retrieve uh, longitude latitude and we have to retrieve longitude okay but what we have to do we have to store longitude and longitude variable so i have to retrieve from data dictionary it's just like lawn and we have to store longitude we have to store latitude and latitude variable and we have to store longitude and longitude variable so it will be like uh, uh, i'm so sorry i'm confused let 
latitude and longitude okay and then we have to print the output print i have to use f uh, f format of course longitude is longitude and latitude is latitude okay something like this and if status is not okay then we have to print something like cell not found so we have to do like that so this is our final code to do this of course um, once we will put something like this we will get the exact location or you can put these details manually uh, in the website like mcc let me put mcc 410 mnc 01 lc let's say we have lc something like this if you will get these details correct you will get the exact location of someone so if i will click on search of course i will not get it as these details are fake let's see again i'm going to repeat if you will have these detail correct you will get the exact location otherwise you will not get it oh what's happening see you can see here caused by network error the reason is that this website is not working in my country so that's the problem you can see here operation timeout so that's the only reason uh, due to it i'm not unable to retrieve So if you will put all these details, you will get the exact location of someone. I hope you will get the idea. Thank you.